Art Nerds. Today I have a little tutorial for you guys. We're going to be turning any sort of metal mint tin into a handy travel palette, so keep watching. The materials you're going to need for this tutorial are flat back magnets. I have five of them here. E600, your metal tin, and this is one from Trader Joe's and it's already been cleaned out, although there is a little bit of residual water in it. So I'm just gonna wipe that out really quick. And either empty half pans or half pans you filled. Now these have Sennelier in them and they were from, they've been kind of wait, waiting for a home. So now is a great time to do it. They're completely dry. So I'm just gonna flip them all over and pop a quick H on the back. I mean, we're gonna pop a quick magnet on the back. So I'm using E600, you want a really strong glue because these are really strong magnets and they're really gonna wanna adhere to your metal. And it might help to test and see whether or not your magnets will stick to your surface. These obviously do. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue a magnet on the back. Now you don't have to use magnets for this. You can tape them in, you can use double stick tape, whatever, but using magnets allows you to easily reposition them in the tin and it holds them firmly in place. You're gonna press it until the magnet is securely adhered to our glue and to the back of our half pan and these are inexpensive half pans they're needin half pans so you guys can see how strong our magnet disaster is should have kept them as one unit now i'm going to have a gluey mess set that aside and i guess i'll just work with them one at a time because that's what they prefer e600 takes about an hour to set up and 24 hours to fully cure so we are going to leave these as is and as far apart from one another as we can for at least an hour. And we're not going to put them on any metal surface until the glue has had a chance to fully cure for 24 hours. And I recommend if you have the option that you glue your magnets to the empty half pans, and then after everything's secured, you go ahead and fill them. All right, so I now have five magnets attached to five half pans. I wanna get them in the shot, but I don't want them so close that the magnets pull off like they just did. I will see you guys tomorrow when we set up our little mint tin. So my scattered paints have had a chance to dry overnight. Now we get to assemble them in this tin. So you can put them on the lid. You can put them in the tin and you can rearrange them without having to unpeel anything. You can even just slide things to a more convenient spot. And I got this idea because I noticed that the Antithes Arts tin the uh, watercolors that I reviewed for you guys a while back, they have little hand uh, glued magnets on the bottom as well. And I thought that was a really good idea. And I thought that more palettes should offer that. And it'll be kind of fun to test and see how all this works. So I could put in sponges if I want to. I could push them up and put in a water brush. I can paint the inside of the cover with like a white nonstick paint. Sort of like what I did when I assembled that Daniel Smith Essential Six mini palette using a um, like a little pill container that I'd kind of revamped. I'm actually gonna leave the lid just plain because the problem I had with the Daniel Smith one I did, and you guys can check that out here in the links, is that the paint stained it and not just like a little bit of staining, but like a pretty significant amount of staining. Whereas if I just leave it the plain metal, I don't think it's gonna stain. So that is just a super simple, super basic little tutorial for one of the many ways you can turn a mint tin into a mini palette. 
I hope this was helpful and inspirational for you guys. This is small enough to slip into even a very small purse or a uh, pocket or um, you can leave it in your car, that sort of thing. What I'd really like to do at some point is I'd really like to make like a wristwatch palette, basically something with straps so that I can have my palette on my hand while I'm painting or on the other side of my wrist. You guys know what I mean? I've seen those around. I've seen people do that with really, really small pill containers. Um, so I look forward to maybe doing that in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again really soon. And I hope you guys have been enjoying my tutorials. Have a great day, guys. Bye.